What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Dark Link armor set as well as the Dark Master Sword, which is pretty stinking cool. So, let's get started. Now, first things first, if you haven't already done so, you'll need to activate Kilton Shop. You can do so by teleporting over to the Zunakai Shrine and heading over to the left eye of Skull Lake. If you visit this area after 9 p.m., you'll find a creepy looking character named Kilton here. You can talk to him and that will activate Kilton's shop. After you activate that, you can find Kilton in several different towns and villages all over Hyrule after 9 p.m. He won't be like inside the village itself. He'll be sort of around the outskirts of the village. One of those villages is Hateno. So we're going to travel there real quick, probably use a campfire and wait until nighttime. That way we can find Kilton, talk to him, and get ourselves the dark armor set. Now, it's not going to be as easy as just, you know, picking it up. There is one other thing we need to do first. So, I would recommend having a lot of monster parts on you because we're basically going to be trading them for this armor set. So, make sure you stock up or get some really high valuable stuff like from Moldugas, Lionels, other rare like beasts in Hyrule even the dragon parts would be good to trade to Kilton um another thing I should mention you can only get the dark armor set after you complete all four of the divine beasts if you talk to Kilton beforehand he just won't have it available for sale now because we're talking to Kilton after we've defeated all four of the divine beasts pretty much everything that he will ever make will be in stock but um yeah if you check back like periodically after you defeat various different divine beasts he'll have more and more in stock now that it's nighttime though yeah right over here to the left of Hateno village we can find Kilton's balloon if you're ever looking for this thing it's pretty easy to spot very large just look for a weird colored balloon and a purple flame. That's how you know Kilton is around. So let's just go and talk to him. This will actually be our first time, I guess, shopping at Fang and Bone. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. And yeah, there's some really eerie music once you get close to him. All right, what's going on, Kilton? Booyag! Ah, it's just you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business. Seeing as how you are a first time customer here at Fang and Bone, our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to Mon. What the heck is Mon? Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Ah, just kidding, there's no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turn them into money. Here's the deal, if you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, eh? Anyway, you can spend your Mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Ah, another thing. I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. So, let's exchange the monster parts you have for Mon. All right, well, let's do it, I guess. Oh, thank you very much. So now, what will you exchange for Mon? All right, so we need a lot of Mon, like 4,000 Mon. So I don't even know what I have, like, in my inventory in terms of, like, monster parts, but I'm pretty sure I will have enough to reach that 4,000. So... I'm just going to continue, like, selling stuff, and I guess I'll talk to you guys, like, once I reach the amount of Mon that I'm pretty sure I'll need to buy this armor set. So, see you guys in a quick second. Alright, so that should be enough Mon to get everything. Thank you for converting your monster parts into Mon. Now then, how can Fang and Bone meet your monstrous needs today? Alright, let's spend some of our newly acquired Mon then, shall we? I've done it! I've developed an unprecedented piece of monster gear! I can't believe I was able to pull this off. I'm actually a bit terrified of myself right now. Ahem. I present to you the ultimate in monster camouflage. I call it 
The Dark Series. Wear this and you will become a monster yourself. I hope you like being hunted for your organs. Or you could just, you know, think of it as a costume. Oh yes, and when night falls, you might just be able to move a little bit faster. Not sure how it turned out that way, but I'm not complaining. Your current balance is 4,142 mon. What monster gear would you like to buy? Alright, so yeah, here's a ton of stuff to buy, but if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can find the Dark Series. Starting with the Dark Trousers, Dark Tunic, and Dark Hood. Yeah, it basically does cost 4,000 mon to buy, which is quite a bit, but um... Honestly, by the time you finish all four Divine Beasts, you should have more than enough monster parts to buy this entire series. So, let's get the hood, and there we go. Now we got the entire set. He sells like a bunch of other stuff, but really we can only afford the Boko Blin mask now, which if you wear and uh, go up to a bunch of Boko Blins, they won't attack you. But I'm not going to bother buying anything else. Do you need anything else? I think I'm good. So, thank you very much, Kilton. Now we finally have the Dark Link set. So let's really quickly put this on just so you guys can see what it looks like. It looks pretty dang cool. And yeah, already you can kind of tell that you do move a lot faster wearing this at nighttime. But honestly, even with just the base tunic set, I feel like we're still missing something. Dark Link needs his own Dark Master Sword, am I right? So... Let's go and grab that real quick. Obviously, I'm going to swap to my other armor set that's a little more protective than the Dark Series because, well, we're going to travel right into the heart of Hyrule Castle. And here's the thing. As much as I do love the Dark Series armor set, it gives you very little in terms of defense. In fact, the entire set cannot be upgraded at all. So no matter what you do, you're stuck with the base 9 defense when you wear the entire set, which is not a lot at all. It's very clear they did not want you to use this as, like, your main armor set. I mean, it would be kind of cool if they gave it to you early on, or you could get it early on. That way you can do, like, a Dark Link run of the game. But uh, seeing as how you can't get this until after you defeat all four Divine Beasts, it sort of limits its usefulness. But I guess the novelty of running around as Dark Link swiftly through the night sort of makes up for it. Now that we're here in Hyrule Castle, the easiest way to find one of the Dark Master Swords, and yes, there are multiple ones that you can find here in Hyrule Castle, but um, the quickest one is sort of through the library. So use this back entrance to reach the library a little bit quicker. As long as you activate that shrine and teleport to it, you'll have no problem getting here. And I'll show you exactly where the sword is so once you get to the library make a right and head up these stairs you're gonna see a lot of enemies like along the way to the dark master sword but honestly for the most part you should be able to just run by most of them there might be one that you need to fight later on just because that particular enemy will fire bomb arrows at you if you don't kill him so i would recommend at least taking that guy out otherwise though you should be able to avoid the rest now here's the deal um, I've been calling it the Dark Master Sword, but that's kind of just a fan-given name. It's actually called the Royal Guards Sword. But, um, if you look at the description and the design of the sword, you can kind of see why the fans have given it the nickname, the Dark Master Sword, because that's essentially what it is. And yeah, that's the enemy that does shoot bomb arrows if you don't get rid of him, so... Make sure you get rid of that guy, and then continue following this red carpet all the way down to the other side of this hallway. There is, like, another Lazalfo over here, but honestly, he's not gonna bother us, so who the heck cares? Now, in this room, you're gonna see a Moblin. Um, we're just going to ignore him, but I will say this about this room. If you're looking for weapons to restock on, this is the room to come to. Like, once you get rid of that Moblin, you can find several, like, high-level, royal-tier weapons. So, feel free to, like, raid this room for yourself. Otherwise, though, climb up that broken-down staircase, go down this hallway, and, uh, we're gonna hang a left here. Right at the end of this hallway, there is a bombable wall. So, let's grab our remote bombs, toss one down there, blow up that wall, and well, sure enough, on the other side is a sword 
inside a pedestal. Now, before we grab this, let me just make sure I have enough room for it in my inventory. Indeed, I do. So, let's pull the blade and get ourselves the Royal Guard Sword. A Sheikah made replica of the sword that seals the darkness. It was made with ancient technology to oppose the Great Calamity, but its low durability made it inefficient. And ironically enough, we have one with the durability up plus uh, bonus effect to it. Now that we have this though, let's equip this and the rest of our Dark series set. That way you can get the full effect of what this thing looks like. Holy crap, doesn't that look freaking amazing? In fact, I can do one better. Let's uh, equip the Royal Guards bow and bam! We got the Dark Bow, the Dark Master Sword, and the Dark Link set. We look downright fearsome right now. Like, Link looks so angry. Just look at that expression. I would not want to mess with this version of Link, dude. Holy crap. Also, I think it's really interesting how the Sheikah tried to make their own version of the Master Sword. Like... There's definitely some implications in the Zelda series there that I think needs a little more explanation. But, um, yeah, let's try and get, like, a really good look at this set from every single angle. But, um, that's basically how you go about getting the entire Dark Link armor set as well as the fan-named Dark Master Sword. And then, you know, the bow is just a nice touch on top of that. You can find the bow pretty much anywhere in Hyrule Castle. It's really not that hard to find. But I think that's going to do it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.